Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one, uh, as I promised, if we had hit 900 subs, I would be showing you a thumbnail tutorial. Now the only two apps you're gonna need are Pixar and Eraser. So Pixar is mostly for making uh, thumbnails. Most of it all comes from Pixar and Eraser is for removing backgrounds and stuff, which are like the same color. So if you can't get Eraser, just get any app that gets rid of backgrounds or anything. So these are the only two apps you need, make sure you download them right now before watching the rest of this video and uh, yeah let's move on. So the first app I'm going to go into first is Pixar, so click on Pixar. So basically um, you want to open up Pixar and you want to choose a background. So I go for this background because I like it, it's pretty simple but you can go for way better backgrounds. As most of you want to know how to make Mortal Kombat um, backgrounds or thumbnails, should I say? Get I would just get any backgrounds from any stages of the game, or if you don't make Mortal Kombat videos, I would get any background that looks cool. Make sure it's non-copyrighted though. So get any backgrounds for um, let's just say you want to get a background of space that looks pretty cool. Maybe like a a smoke purple, smoke greens, any colors. Any cool backgrounds, maybe crystal backgrounds, those look really good. Any background you think would look really good. So you want to go for that. Don't go for anything uh, way too detailed. You want to go for something quite simple but quite nice. So after you've done that, you want to get an image of the character you're going to use for the video slash the character you're going to play or maybe the character you're going to talk about in a video. So you want to get an image of that by how you do that is you click on this uh, icon right here add photo you want to click on that so after you got your image uh, resize it uh, have it however you like make it big enough so you can have it on the left or in the middle however you want make sure it's a PNG image what that means is it won't have the background so it's really good uh, because then you can add the outline way better than like the color outlines that I usually have to get a PNG image all you have to do is just go on a search engine and just search up the character that you want let's just say Liu Kang and just search up Liu Kang PNG image that's all you gotta do to add the outline on the character you first want to click on the image then on the bottom right uh, you want to scroll to the right until you see border you want to click on that and then here you can select your colors whatever you like so I'm going to go for a red because that looks nice and you can select how much you want for the amount. Obviously don't go too much, I would recommend like 4 or 5, maybe 10, that usually looks nice. That's how you can add outline colors and that usually uh, brings in uh, more viewers because it's more colorful and nice. So you want to do that, uh, make sure it looks good. Next you want to add the Mortal Kombat logo. So what I would do is click on it, add image, add the Mortal Kombat logo. So you might notice that it might have the black background and you don't want that background so now this is where eraser comes in handy so what you want to do is go to eraser uh, you want to select your image and then you want to click on erase and then you want to click on target color and then just select where the color is there you go so after you've done that it, it might look a bit weird i want to show it to you again it might look a bit weird but just trust me because you can add a outline with it so it'll look normal so you want to click on that and then save it so after you save it, you go come back to uh, uh, Pixar and then you want to add image, go to border and then select your color. So you want to select black, add low amount and then just make that bigger so it looks nice. And then boom, you can put that in the middle or something, however you like. So after you have done that, wait, let me just make it a bit bigger. There you go. So now that looks good. After you've done that, I would say text is very important you want to make sure you have text so you click on text and then you can add what else add whatever you want on it I'm just gonna put Liu Kang so after you put that in there's other stuff uh, here as well there's um, different fonts you can have uh, these ones are cool don't go for that one obviously that's not gonna be very good people won't be able to see that the one I like is this one this is my favorite one so then you can click on it select your color Wait, let me make it good there you go there you go that looks better so then you can select your color go for whatever color you want you want to go for a bright color that people can see so i would just go for something like yellow and then after that you want to click on stroke and then have an outline on it so you can you see this is the outline uh and an out giving an outline makes it really uh really good so you want to do that make sure to do that you can have other stuff on here as well or something I don't know put like tips with Liu Kang or something if you're making a tips with Liu Kang video put that in make that uh, resize it there you go 
looking way better. So now I'll be showing some tools. Um, there's a lot of tools here, as you can see. There's a lot of tools. So first, obviously, you want to click on uh, tools. So then you want to click on crop. Now that's the first one. Crop is pretty simple. You can crop images, make them however you like. This is really good if you're trying to make a YouTube banner. That's very good. Next is the uh, the free crop. Now it's not even that good. You can just crop stuff however you like exactly how you like. It's not really that good but you can just crop uh, stuff exactly how you like it's all right it's an all right tool but in my opinion it's not very helpful it, it might be helpful but it's not that helpful the next is the shape crop now the shape crop is very good if you're trying to make like a youtube um, profile picture or like an instagram profile picture maybe a twitter profile picture it's very good because you can put it in a shape have it however you like it looks very good the next is the i don't know how you say that um, but basically what it does is it does like the Thanos effect, the Thanos um, click effect where they look like they turn into sand so that could be kind of fun if you want to use that and it also looks a bit glitched out so that's, that could be pretty cool for some thumbnails. The next tool is the clone tool and this is one of my favorite tools. You might have seen me do Sikander's, Sikander 555's um, uh, beard so this is how I do it. Basically what this tool does is you can basically clone pixels so why that's so good is let's just say i didn't like johnny cage's tattoo let's just add in one in the thumbnail what i can do is i can clone this bit of the pixel clone that and then put it on there clone that and put it on there clone that and put it on there now i'm not going to do all of it but you get the point you can clone uh you can clone it match it up with the skin color clone it up clone up the pixels put it there and it's really good so you get the point you can just and then from far away you don't really see that so let's just say I didn't like Johnny Cage's tattoo I can do that so the next tool is the stretch tool now this is a really fun tool this is one of my favorite ones this is how lol hounds make some of his videos what you can do is you can stretch stuff on a video on a thumbnail um, and you can do like funny stuff with it however you want you can do some funny stuff um, you know whatever you want to do you can just mess around with it, make some funny thumbnails, but that's about it for that one. The next one is the motion tool. Now, I don't really know what this one does. Uh, I'm just going to show it to you, see if it does anything right now, but I'm not sure what it does. It's not really that helpful in my opinion, but that's about it for the motion tool. So the next tool is the selection tool. Now, the selection tool isn't that good. What you can basically do is just select different parts and then just like move them around and stuff it's not very handy but it could be handy in some situations maybe i don't know uh it's not really that handy for me i wouldn't really use it but it might be handy to you guys i don't know but the other tools are not really that good so i'm just gonna show you the uh, uh rotation tool now this is pretty good if you want to rotate some stuff it's as simple as that it's just a rotating tool this is the resize tool pretty easy to use you can resize stuff and uh, yeah, that's basically about it for that. So I'm going to be showing you some of the other really important tools. The cutout tool is very important. What you can do with it is you can cut out stuff and make your own PNG images. So you can basically have them without background. If you, if you get an image with the background, you can cut it out yourself. Obviously, I'm not going to bother doing the whole thing, but you can like, um, you can color in the whole bit and then it'll cut out the thing. I'm just going to go in like this but obviously you want to take time and then you can cut out uh, like characters from images and stuff so that's very good now the next tool is the brushes tool it's very good if let's say there's an image and you can't add an outline uh because it won't work or something let's just say so what you can do is you can manually do it from the brushes as you can see you can man manually add a outline to the image make it good whatever color you want to use let's just say i use blue let's just make that a little bit bigger wait uh there you go so you can just add it however you like i don't know whatever color you want to use okay that's not a good color that's 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 blends in with this jacket but you get you get the point though you can add it in yourself if it doesn't work with the outline so the next tool obviously it's a text tool very important for adding in text add in whatever you want write in whatever you want very important on youtube thumbnails obviously you're going to need that and then so then people can recognize the video can change it into gradient or texture it's not very good i just stick with a normal color uh, you can add the stroke which is very important it's basically an outline for the text very important i usually just go for 100 you can change the fonts very important as well 
depends on how you like it and yeah that's what you can do that's basically about it i would say i know there's some other tools in this app but i'm not going to cover them because i don't feel they're as important for making thumbnails all the apps i've covered uh, all the tools i've covered i think they're very important for making good thumbnails the other ones are just they're not really that helpful they can be in some situations but they're not really that helpful if you enjoyed please do drop a like if you're new please subscribe share this with at least one person and uh, yeah i'm gonna roll the outro now